smoking the whip on me flipping shit sideways living life my Welcome to another So Sick Records Presents. My name is Travis Hudgens. I'm an audio engineer. And I'm going to show you guys some awesome mastering techniques for your mixes. Why mixing in Pro Tools with your stock plugins. Now, if you checked out my video before, I showed you how to master right here when you have your song done. So I got the song all done. I showed you how, you know, I got the mix done. I got everything done. I showed you how to create a mastering chain right inside this where you can mix down and master your shit so you can be done with your song pop it in your car it'll slap in the trunk and you'll be straight up ready to go now this is a good technique um, I limited it I did some stereo width if, for those of you guys that subscribed and watch the video this is a great way to do it all in one I'm gonna show you a way to get a little bit more in depth with it and make your mixes sound a little bit better and pretty much I don't know I mean some are gonna debate with me if you send it out to a mastering studio, they got ten thousand, twenty thousand, two hundred thousand dollars worth of mastering equipment, analog distressors, all sorts of shit that they do that shit for profession, and they come up with some dope shit. I think that you can rival them. Some are gonna argue with me on that. Um, there's a lot of engineers and analog gurus who like that circuitry and that sound, and, and those guys are pros, man. You know, um, pro mastering. You know, I'm uh, advanced mastering. And my shit's going to sound fucking advanced slash pro. So this shit's going to sound dope. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your song all done right here. Right? But you're not going to put in a mastering chain on your master fader. Your song's all done. It's mixed. It's ready to go out to mastering. What you're going to do. This is how you do it. Right? You hit control G. Once your mix is all done. You add everything you got to a group tab. On your control G, you're going to create a group. You're going to group all the tracks together right for those of you who don't know how to do grouping like I said control G and you can add whatever you want you can add just your verses in here and be able to turn down all your verses and all the faders will move at the same time whether you got dubs punches ad libs five tracks on verse one you can turn down verse one all simultaneously all your choruses the same thing it's a good way to control different parts of your song and uh, be able to make it happen so you got everything grouped Boom, everything is in group A, right? Now I can press the letter A on my keyboard and it toggles that group on and off, as you can see. Blue to nothing, group A. So group A is on. I'm going to turn down my whole mix at the same time to where it's about negative 10 on the master fader, giving me plenty of overhead to send it out and then do some final mastering. Right there, it's really low. Check it out, it's down to negative 15. Boost it up a little bit. I like it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, bounce this to disk on a wave into a two-channel two wave file, and then I'm going to open up a new session and upload that. So I've already bounced this. I got it right here on my desktop. Get the website out of the way. I got it right here on my desktop, um, take me away, pre-master track. So I'm going to open up a new session, same as normal. Um, New session, uh, 48 kilohertz, same I.O., 24-bit, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to name it whatever I want. I'm going to name this uh, test track. Okay. Boom, there we go. We're going to save it. There it is. Okay, boom. Watch and learn. Track new. Two stereo audio tracks. Okay. Two stereo aux tracks. One ma stereo master fader. Okay. Then I'm going to rearrange these tracks like this. I'm going to put an audio one over here. I'm going to put the master one in the middle. Oh, I didn't create a master fader. I guess I created, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to create a master, stereo master fader. There we go. I'm gonna put this bad boy in the middle. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop my mixed wave file right here onto my audio one track. So I got that here, my pre-mastered. Boom, there it is. Okay, this is going to upload right here. 
You guys are going to love this. This is going to sound fucking amazing. You see how my levels are all low? Because obviously I have it down on my master track. Pretty low. It's going to be the same thing in here. It's going to stay down here in negative 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to route all these together. So my wave file is going to get bust to bus 1 and 2. This aux track is going to be bus 1 and 2. It's then going to go from this aux track to this aux track. So it's going to go from here to 3 and 4. The input of this one will be 3 and 4. Just sending the signal down the line. It's going to then come out 3 and 4 and go to 5 and 6. 5 and 6 is going to go right here. And then it's going to stop. This is the last. So it's going from my, my mix song to whatever I add in this aux to whatever I add in this aux to whatever I add in this audio track, boom, and out. Here it is. reason why you don't hear it playing is because you need to arm this track. Right? We're going to stop it and arm it. There you go. See my signals all the same all the way across. Aux 1, you ready for the mastering? Pay attention here. It's going to happen. First insert is going to be an EQ. 7-band EQ. I'm going to roll off the end and I'm going to roll off the bottom just a touch. Right? Just like that all the way to the end. Like that. I'm going to change my cue a little bit. I kind of want it to be something like this right here. Rolled off a little bit. Just like that right there. Okay, you're going to make a little little frowny face right over here same thing boom it's rolling off any peaks that are too high and any peaks that are too low boom done next one you guys are gonna love this when you start doing it to your music next one I'm gonna add these are all stock plugins stock compressor I'm gonna select the setting clean limit I'm gonna take it down to where my music's at right now which is around negative 10 negative 11 my threshold down to about negative 11 Boom. Okay. Should see a little bit of attenuation, not much. It's not going to happen until the verse starts, but you're going to see a little attenuation here, just kind of rolling it off, right? We'll fast forward this so you can see it. A little bit of attenuation. You don't want this thing positively going all the time. If it's going all the time, you got a problem, right? You don't want constant attenuation. Next, we're going to add a peak limiter. I like to add it down here at the bottom. That way you kind of see the chain. Boom. Dynamics, the B576 peak limiter. Now you can adjust these settings, but I like to leave it right where it's at. It's just going to hit any of the peaks and the transients of the waveform and kind of chop off the top. Right? All right, next, so our signal is going from our song, boom, into our three plugins. It's just cleaning it up. It's, it's nice and subtle. It's nothing too much. It's not boosting any of the signal. It's just cleaning things up and kind of it's it's reducing things, attenuating different different uh, attenuating the peaks. It's rounding off a little bit on the compressor. And the reason why, you know, in a little bit of the EQ, rounding off the highs and the lows. Anything that's going to be out of control is kind of getting cleaned up right here. Next, it's going to go here, where I'm going to hit it with the maxim. Boom. Hit it with the maxim. The reason I don't put the maxim on this channel is on this, you know, these are both aux, right? I like to let this aux do its thing. I don't want these competing. I don't want the maxim fighting with the peak limiter or fighting with this compressor, getting too crunchy, too much at once. It's going to do its thing and it's going to shoot its signal out. It's going to do its thing over here. Check this out. Here's where it gets nice. Okay, we're going to turn off our noise shaping and we're going to make sure our dither button right here is off because we're going to do dithering on a whole nother track so we're going to take this down here's where our signal starts because it's so low look we're at a negative 12 right negative 10 we're going to take our threshold down right where it's starting to to limit this stuff and this is going to boost our signal up to radio ready and we're going to set our ceiling down to negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 just so you know it doesn't have to be at 0, 0.00 you know there's a lot of different speakers a lot of different systems out there some of them can handle 0, 0.00 if you got an upgraded system if you got some shitty ass car speakers, you know, you might want to, you know, not push the limits too much. So we're trying to make this good for all systems. Um, boom. 
pull the threshold down to where it's starting to affect it. You see the orange right here? That's where it's starting to affect the signal. You can see I'm boosted up right here on my master fader. All right, modern day music is just this thing is staying so high and just pounding, pounding, pounding. If you you know Google that modern day ma uh, mastering, you're gonna see music as it goes through the decades and generations has just been getting louder, louder, and louder. It's a loud war. They think louder is doper, louder is cooler, louder, louder is better. Well, louder grabs more attention, but if you like to listen to your music and hear the subtle varieties and, and more than just the 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 loudness, you know you like to. I personally like to, to have a little bit of uh, signal flow in here instead of just borderline fucking balls to the wall, red line and going, right? All up in your eardrums. I like to hear my shit. So pull it down until it's barely starting to affect it. And um, that's where you're at. The louder you want it, the more you pull this threshold down, right? You'll start to cause distortion if you pull it down too much. A rule of thumb to avoid um, distortion is you never want this attenuation, you know, more than 3 to 6 dB. I'm at 0 0.7. I like a little attenuation with it. If you if you see this and you click this, it'll it'll always level back out to 0, 0.0, and you can see where you're at. If you get a, it'll keep the record of your highest attenuation. Watch and learn. My highest attenuation is 3.2. I can adjust this a little bit. I don't want that much. Click it again. It'll 0, 0, and it'll show me my next highest attenuation. Boom, there it is, all right? that This signal, now it's been uh, limited. It's going to shoot over here to our final station, the one that's recorded armed. And we're going to add dither. Boom. Dither it down to 16-bit, have noise shaping. And now we're going to track it out on this, on this session right here. We're going to record our new master track right here. Our master fader was only there as a reference point, you know, just, just to look at and see where we're hitting so boom what you're gonna do is you bring up your transport window window transport track it out record play here's our new master track this right here is gonna be your new mastered song so after this is done it's pretty simple of what you're gonna do you're gonna let this play all the way through then you're going to stop it. You know, you can add a little bit of a fade to the beginning or end if you'd like. And um, after you're done, you're going to click this. It's going to be selected over here in your clips window. You're going to click on it. You're going to click export clip as file. It's going to give you options, interleaved, wave, blah, 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 where it's going. Choose this, you know, choose where you're going to send it with this destination folder you know I like to put mine on my right on my desktop that uh, way I don't gotta dig around in hell to find it and um, bam export there it is it's a lot quicker than bouncing it's done bada bing bada boom and so here it is right here if you guys uh, like what I'm tuning into man comment subscribe to my channel ask questions what do you want to see you know um, you want some reverb techniques, you want some fucking pitch shifting, you want to know how to chop and screw shit. I do all genres. I can record all genres. You got mic questions, techniques, recording levels, equipment, um, problems, IO settings, technical shit, um, what type of mic you should buy. Uh, you want stuff mixed, you want stuff mastered, you want, uh, beats made, hit me up. We can hook some shit up, you know. Um, let me know what's up. www.sosickrecords.com on uh, YouTube, it's So Sick Records Presents. Travis Hudgens, audio engineer. I appreciate y'all guys tuning in, man. Check me out. Let me know what's up. Peace.